Joining us now is TerraSend CEO Jason Ackerman. Jason, welcome. Good to see you. Let me make sure I understand your business. Do you, are, are, do you sort of go the whole food chain here? You grow, you distribute, you retail, what? That's correct. We call that vert, fully vertical. We, uh, we start with the seed all the way to sale. So we grow uh, cannabis, we package and flower, and then we convert into, into goods like uh, vapes and, uh, and cartridges and, and edibles as well as have retail uh, and home delivery and e-commerce, so it's full end-to-end. -end. And where are you licensed to grow? In what states? And, and do, do you have to be in a greenhouse or you can grow out in fields? What? Yeah, currently we're in Pennsylvania and New Jersey, California. Uh, we just uh, purchased a license in Maryland, and uh, we grow uh, indoors, uh, either greenhouses or full indoor control where we uh, have all of our plants and our manufacturing. So uh, I, it is not lost on me uh, that New Jersey has just agreed to um, decriminalize recreational use of marijuana. Let's just say, hypothetically, hypothetically, you're a New Jersey resident uh, and you might mm -hmm. be interested in, in partaking of uh, some of the products that you sell. Uh, you have just gotten a licensed dispensary somewhere in New Jersey. I'd love to ha hear, hear where, uh, not, not, not I, but just for Guy, mostly is what I'm asking for as a New Jersey resident. Uh, where, where is it and how quickly do you think th that recreational sales will actually start taking place in New Jersey? Uh, sure. So we have uh, three licenses. Our first store has opened in Phillipsburg. Uh, which is on the New Jersey-Pennsylvania border, and we have two more stores that are going to open up next year, uh, more on the kind of northern Jersey-New York City border uh, mm. market. Uh, so we did legalize in the state of New Jersey. It was an overwhelming populist vote, uh, but it will take about six or seven months for the regulations to be written. So you can't walk into a dispensary in New Jersey today without a medical card, which you can get from your, from your doctor, uh, but uh, as a full recreational card, uh, non-card holder, uh, that'll probably take till around June of next year before you can do that. Tim would like to jump in with a question. Yeah. Hey, hey Jason, thanks for joining us tonight. Um, the, the profitability of being vertical, especially in a state like Pennsylvania, is one of the reasons why your stock trades at, at really a massive premium to, to your peers. And again, profitability for an industry that's been criticized for not being profitable. Talk about that. Um, because you guys have been called the beasts of the East and, and you're focused in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Maryland, and possibly other parts of the East Coast at some point. Um, why are you so profitable? Help us understand that. Yeah, so our philosophy has been very much about a mile deep, not a mile wide. So in the states that we play, we want to be the significant player. And so we really go fast with a large amount of scale so we can achieve a level of economy that other players are spreading their capital around. So in Pennsylvania, we have one of the larger facilities in the state we have roughly a 20% share of the uh, branded manufacturer's good. We're distributed in every dispensary in the state itself. And so that level of scale has given us uh, a level of profitability that is, uh, you know, as good as it gets in the industry. And our, our EBITDA margins, you know, are top of class right now because of that. Will the, will the branding, is it, what is the branding of your dispensaries? What will it be? Will it be TerraSend or will it have some other name? Or do you know? Yeah, so we have two, two brand thoughts. Our retail brand is the Apothecarium, mm -hmm. uh, which rooted out from Northern California at the, the beginning of the cannabis movement where the stores began. And we've brought that brand to the East Coast. Uh, and then we have our product brands that are in our stores, as well as distributed uh, throughout uh, the states we operate are under the Kind Tree, uh, which is our cannabis brand, uh, Prisms, Valhalla, uh, and Alera Health for our medical-based products. So we've got a range of brands for different customers uh, that are distributed throughout the states. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.